Ready for countdown launch in three, two, one. Tell us about what went into that and who, and who you worked with on the actual track. You know, um, praising, praising, praising. Oh my God, I love that song. You know, and you know, praising, praising um, featured Fisherman Silence, and you know, and that was actually recorded in the US. Um, you know, and produced by a US producer, um, Mr. D. And you know, it just, it just. Basically, that's what it is. Praise and praise is all I do for the price you pay. Praise and praise is all I do for the joy you bring. You know, it's as simple as that. You know, the song was written by myself, and um, I wrote the song in 2009, 2009. And you know, I just knew it was gonna, it was a great song, and I just knew that the whole world is gonna hear this song. Let's go. Praise your way happy. Not sure, Jesus, why you love me so. I will never know. I will never know, Jesus, why you paid the price. You the solution, that is my favorite track. That's the second time I'm actually hearing it. Um, the first time it was that listening session yeah, that we had. Right. Tell, us a, tell us a bit more about this, because I believe here you're journeying off into something Creative, you 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 you're treading on new territories here. You know what? Diversifying your sound. Tell you know what? what? You know what? Like this on this new album, people are gonna hear me. They're gonna hear Sam at the band. They're gonna be like, they're gonna hear me. Since, they're gonna hear my voice. Something I've been doing since when I was ten, but they have no clue I could do. Mm. You know, and the thing is. You know, with this solution, it's such a prophetic song for me because the other time I was feeling so low and I was just listening to the song. I was like, I need the solution. I run to you. So this is like, for me, it's like, it's an African song that, but well, a lot of people don't even know I sing African song, you know? And for me, it's so amazing because the song says, Jackie, we back to shape. Jackie, run on big back. It means, God, help me to find a solution. Help me to find a way around it. And that's the prayer every one of us pray. Whether you're a millionaire, you're a billionaire, you say, God, help me to find a solution. You try to do that business, you say, God, help me to find a solution. You need that idea, you say, God, help me to find a solution. Help me to find a way around it. You know, it's just a prayer. That song is just a prayer. And it's like, for me, it's so moving, it's so amazing. And the fact that God gave that to me. And to be honest, I have to thank Andrew Bello for that. But when we were recording the song, um, when we did the other track, and it was like, let's do a new track. And Andrew Bello was like, um, let's tell a story. Do you know what I mean? He said, let's, talk, let's tell a story about somebody, you know, that's going through a hard time, and they're praying to God. So he was like, oh, they can read that to shit. And he was like, no, Sam, this is not my sort of song. I'll leave that to you. And I said, no. And I heard something from that song. And no, no, no. This song is going somewhere. And then I picked up, they can read that to shit. You know, from there, the whole song came out just like that freestyle. Amazing. <laughs> I am it, don't worry, Papa. I am it, don't worry, Papa. Nibati, Yaba, come in, sing the whole. Nibati, or Reba, come in, sing the whole. Lord have mercy. I mean, the, the, the track speaks for itself, but tell us, oh. what are you saying in that song? Aye. In your own words. Oh my God. Lord, Lord have mercy is a remix of another, it's, it's a remix actually, from the last previous album, the TWG the Project, we had a song there called Lord have mercy. And one day I would stay, I just said, I know I said, I know I said it, I know I did it, I know I said I would never do it, I know I failed you once again. Would you please give me another chance? I went away from your will. Like when I was talking about my testimony, you know, and I said, I went away from your will. I took advantage of your grace. But now I'm back, back. 
bat at your feet, saying, Lord, have mercy. You know, that's basically what the song is. The song is about somebody out there that needs to come back to Christ. There's so many times, even as Christians, that say, you know what, God, I'm never going to tell that lie because I want, there's no way I can get off this street because I'm going to lie. You know, I'll never, you know, and then when you say, oh, you know, I'm never going to look, look at a woman in a lost way. I'm never going to do the same thing that we say we're never going to say. And this one I know I said it. I know I said I would never do it. But I know I failed you once again. You know, I mean, would you please give me another chance? I went away from your will, took advantage. So that song is powerful. Again, this song features the amazing yeah, talent yeah, on there. You know, the song is um, it's my favorite track on the album. You know, for me, it speaks it speaks to somebody out there. You know, this song will change you. This song, if you're listening to this song, I want to invite you to come back to God because this song, you know, it's not about this song, but the message is song. Because the Bible says, it says in the track as well, that the Bible says, if we open our mouth and confess that Jesus is Lord, we shall be saved. Lord, have mercy on a sinner like me. I know I said it. I know I did it. I know I said I'd never do it. I know I failed once again. Please give me another chance. I went away from your will And took advantage of your grace Now I'm back at your feet Singing, Lord, have mercy Praise your name. Um, what are you uh, trying to convey there? Um, I mean, most of your songs are based around praise, but tell us specifically um, about Praise Your Name. Oh, this song is amazing. I will praise your name forever You know, for me, it just... Worship, you know, worship is is so deep. Now, when you worship God, you know, the song just came to me. You know, I was like, you know, when I sing this song, it's so it's such a big song because God is God is worthy to be worshipped. It's worthy to be praised. And the song is just saying, you know what, Baba, I worship you. You know what I mean? Say, worship God. This is my producer said to me that Sam, this is a destination of worship. When you can say to God, you know. I mean, when you can listen to a song that like, sucks you into atmosphere, the last the last time you heard it in the listening session, you were getting into the you know, you were getting you were you were speaking in tongues, you know, you know, and that's that's the effect, you know, and it shows you my heart. You know what I mean? And God God didn't use David because David was David was that man that, that had this spot on. You know, God used David because he was a man after my own heart. You know, and that's the kind of man I want to be. Somebody just asked him. And that message, that song speaks my heart. I'll praise your name. about You've Done Me Well. Um, I can't wait for you to explain that one. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what? The song is Emailer. You've Done Me Well is such an emailer. And you know what? Emailer, 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 emailer. You know what? God has been so good to me and he's done me well. You know, for allowing me, for using me to, to be behind a ministry that is taking worship, is taking praise, is ministering to people you know my vision my vision by the way yeah my vision for this album is that one day our children your children will pick up the tv and see gospel music i don't mean on ben tv i don't mean on black tv i mean on mtv base because right now all we hear on tv is just naked women song gone crime whatever but we need gospel music so for me um, it's very important that our children get songs that will change their lives. So going back to email, that God has done me well. He's done me well. He's done us well. We stand in here today. He's done us well. Providing a job for us, done us well. We're both married, done us well. Yeah? Praise God. You know, in everything, God has been so good. And the Bible says, let everything that has faith pray. Everything that has breath, praise the Lord. And because we have breath, it's done us well. And this song features Andrew Bello. You know, Andrew Bell is an amazing, he's an amazing guy. You know, um, he's just amazing guy. Watch out for him, and he, he's doing great things. He's got an album by himself. 
and we, we, you know, I wrote the song and I just brought him to the studio and I said, you know what, there's something missing in this song, there's something missing in this song. So I called him up, I said, I want you to feature on this track, so yeah, why not, why not? Then they came to the studio, we thought the song was already completed, we thought the song was already banging, we didn't need nothing else on there, the Andrew Bello, bam, put the Mac on the song. Tell us about the last two singles, Jesus You Are and the song for Mama. And also, if you were to sum up your vision, what would you say? You know what, the, the last two singles, um, Jesus You Are. Jesus You Are is a song, one of the first songs I wrote on, on the new album. And it just explains what Jesus is to me. Jesus You Are, You Are the reason I live, you know, the reason I pray and everything. And that song to me is just basically explaining what Jesus is. And we had a quiz reception with the song. And the Mama song, um, that was the song that we recorded with um, Beautiful Sound and Shabak and Snatcher. Um, and that song is for Mother's Day, really. And again, that song has been well re received. We've had quite a few hits on YouTube, on the music, quite a few downloads. We made it free. These two tracks, we made it free just to. I don't believe that everything has to be paid for. So we just thought, you know what, people download this track for free. You know, so I, those those two songs are also um, my two favorite songs on the album. But again, they are for me. I, I said they're a great song, but compared to all the twenty tracks on the album, um, other so we put those two tracks, other eighteen tracks on the album. Boy, you can't go wrong. <laughs> you know, you can't go wrong. Now the vision of Sam and DTWG, the mission and the project, and the, in everything. Is to make gospel music accessible to all. That is to make it simple, right? But in general, we are using the positive message of the gospel to influence our generation, as well as promoting gospel music in the mainstream communities. You know, and for us, really, we want to see gospel music in a place where gospel music isn't. We want to get gospel music to a place where, you know what? What's wrong with the gospel artists performing at the Mobile Awards? What's wrong with the gospel music being played on MTV? You know what I mean? Especially in the UK. When you mention gospel, people are like, hmm, gospel? Do you know what I mean? But gospel is a good news. Everybody needs to receive the good news of Christ. And that's the vision I carry. That's the vision um, that we're running with the mission album. That's part of, as well as the Spirit of the Lord is upon me as the minister. But the vision of it in the to get gospel music to, to the hands of people that won't necessarily, that probably have never heard gospel music before. And God has shown me different sides of all the things that we've done, we've been able to do TV commercial, um, writing gospel songs um, that have been on major TV, Sky TV. So God is showing me that everything is possible. We've been on Jamie Oliver's show, you know. So we've been on platform that Christians are not necessarily hard in and still not compromising still doing gospel music you know and it shows me that god 